welcome to the channel. Today is going to be an epic unboxing of Pup Box. I said epic, so stay tuned. If you are new here, my name is Rita and I post all kinds of Disney and lifestyle content. So I'm super excited that you are here joining me. If you are returning, then hi, welcome. You know I love you guys. Like I said, today is a Pup Box unboxing and it is going to be epic. I have, hold on, three pup boxes to open up for you guys in this video because I'm a horrible dog mom and I've been just hoarding these and not opening them up. So this is like, I think, November, December, January. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna just do a big epic unboxing and I do have a coupon code for you guys where I believe you get 50% off your first box. I will leave it right over here on the screen for you guys and it'll also be linked down below. So if you're interested in getting Pup Box, you can totally check them out. I've been with Pup Box for probably like two years now and um, I was a paid subscriber. I paid all the time and finally I decided to go ahead and um, sponsor the videos. Not sponsor, but send us free boxes so I can share it with you guys. So here we go. Let's jump into it because it's going to be a lot. I'm going to start off with the Christmassy one because we're way past Christmas. So I figure let's do Christmas first. And this one looks like, oh, here we Why go. Why don't we do the oldest, November? I, th I think the November is the Christmas one. Oh, okay. I, th I want to say, I'm, I'm almost positive. I wish there was a date on here um, to tell me, but I don't think there is. So we're just going to go for it. Here we go, Cornelius. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. So it says, uh, it says Yappy, Yappy Holidays. That's the packaging. And let's do this. Pup box is kind of personalized. You can see what kind of dog you have, how big it is. And they'll personalize it a little bit. So it's not like everyone gets the same box. It's a little bit personalized. Okay, first things first is we got some paperwork, which is just what's in the box. And then also like a little survival guide for the holidays, like what they shouldn't be eating during the holidays, which is not very relevant right now. All right. Oh my gosh, this box is so cute. I feel so bad that I didn't open this um, when I did. So we got tons of little toys. Oh my gosh, Lady's gonna love this one. She loves small little, like small little toys. So um, this one is like a little moose. <clears throat> And it looks like this. Hold on, Cornelius, hold on, sit, sit. He's crazy, he's crazy, hold on. Cornelius, wait. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Can it focus? All right, so there's that one. And okay, Corn, you take that one. Lady's gonna like that one. Oh my goodness, the next one says big deal. It's like a pickle, which if you guys don't know, especially in German traditions, there is, you hide a pickle in the Christmas tree, um, and the first person to find that pickle usually opens their presents first. It's kind of like the tradition. So they put a little pickle in there, that's pretty cool. There might be other reasons for that, but that's so cute. The next thing I'm seeing here is a little scarf. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I really wish I would have opened this first. Let's see if we can get Lady in. <laughs> there she is, Lady, show Dad. Try to call her, babe. She's like, what the heck is this thing? Lady. Look at her. Lady. Look at her. Wow. Look at you, Miss Christmas. Okay, I'll take it off. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. See, I missed a photo opportunity with this. Okay, this Christmas I have one now. Wow, this box is so good. Oh man, we got a, we got a chicken. <laughs> so here's this item. It's a squawk me, and it's a silly sounding duck. It looks like this. That's so funny, oh my gosh. Sorry if you have dogs watching this and I, they get triggered. Oh my gosh, there's tons of toys in here. It's like seriously like a Christmas box. This one also is another like little Merry Christmas and it's a little ball. I think this one might squeak. Yeah, it does. So here's this one. And it has a cute little fuzzy tail. A lady might like that one. Okay, finally a treat. <laughs> And oh, interesting, this is actually a Pup Box brand treat, which they usually always feature different kind of um, brands in their box, but this is an actual Pup Box. This is pork and apple, and it is made in the USA, which I love. So there is those right over here. And let's see, let's just go ahead and open it and have them try it. I have crazy dogs, you guys. 
They're crazy. Hold on, okay, hold on. Everybody just hold up, okay? Let's wait, let's see if these are even good. Cornelius is probably gonna be iffy. Lady will eat it. Okay, we have to sit. We're civilized people, We're dogs. See, I told you. Lady, she'll take it, no problem. Corn, he's, he's iffy all the time. Okay, and I think, oh, one more item, which again, I'm so sad that we didn't open this during Christmas time. But this is a paw print ornament. So looks like you have your paw, like your dog's paw step on it. And then it's an ornament of their paw. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. Um, definitely doing that this year. I wonder if I can fit the two little dog's paws on it or I'll just try to buy another one and then I have one for each of the doggies. How cute is that? So what a great box, you guys. Um, let me look at the packing slip. It won't give me pricing for everything, but I can tell you everything that was included. We had the uh, holiday tails, Christmas mousse, uh, the scarf, the ornament maker, the little pickle plush. We had another Christmas mousse rubber ball. We had the little squeaking duck, and then we had the treats. So tons and tons of things in this box. Okay. Box number one is done. Don't mind the mess, okay? We're just, this is just how we're rolling. Okay, next box, I'm honestly not gonna, not sure which is which, so we're just gonna open it up and be surprised together. Here we go, Cornelius. Okay, this one says puppy love. Oh, this is gonna be February, so let me close this one. So maybe it was December, January, February. Maybe that's what happened. Let's see what this one is. This one might be... Yeah, oh, this is November, whoops, okay. November, December, January, or February. I don't know, one of the two. So this one says it's almost turkey time, which means this was the November box, and it's talking about like, you know, making sure your what your pets don't eat. Hey, lady, that's a scarf, it's not a toy. Um, what your pets don't eat during the holidays. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this trick. Look at this thing. How do you think it's shaking this out? <laughs> this thing is so funny, it's huge. Lady's kind of liking it, she likes the legs, look at her. Cora, what do you think of this one? She's not sure about this one. Okay, we'll put this one down right here. Look, there's another little turkey guy. All right, what else do we got here? What is this? It's a, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, we're gonna have to come up close, babe, because this is a turkey. Like, it's like a turkey that's, you know, and you put the treats inside. But can you tell that it's a turkey? Like it has the turkey leg. Hold on, Corn. Do you see that? Did we get it? Um, turn it a little bit, rotate like it. Like this, maybe? Can you tell? A little. Uh, so it's basically like a turkey that would be like in an oven. That's what it looks like. That's so funny. And you put treats inside. So there's that. And then we got, oh, Cornelius loves hoofs. So this, oh, interesting, babe. You're gonna like the blend of this one. So this is a beef hoof, and what it's stuffed with is acai. That's interesting for dogs. So it's an acai superfood blend, which let's be real, Cornelius is not gonna like the inside because nope. God forbid Cornelius likes anything with fruits and vegetables, but maybe Lady will eat the inside and then Corn will eat the hoof. <laughs> so I love when Pup Box puts hoofs in there because Cornelius really likes them and that's how we even found out about like cow hoofs and all that. All right, and it looks like we got two treats, which I don't think we should open these. What do you think, babe? Because we have so many treats open. Um, so I'm not gonna open these, but these are totally in theme. These are turkey tendon strips, once again, made in the US, and a really nice um, ingredient list. Only has three ingredients in it, you guys. Turkey, vegetables, and salt, vegetable glycerin. Look how crazy that is. I love when they send stuff like that. So there's the first one. Did you get it, babe? Were we able to see it or no? Show it again. There we go. All right, that's the first one. And then the next one is, which I've actually had this brand. I do like this brand. This is Wholehearted. And these are training treats. This is the chicken recipe, also made in the U.S. So there are those. Did we get it? All right, perfect. So that was the November box. Really, really fun. These kids have so many toys they're playing with. We're just going to put them all here. This epic pup box haul. <laughs> All right, guys, on to the last box here. And this one, I can only imagine, I think is gonna be like a February box that mentions like Valentine's Day on here. So that's super cute. And then our packing slip. 
And here we go. Let's do this. The first item is a cute little plush heart. Um, look how cute this is. And then on the back, on, look at the front. There's the front. And then on the back, it says, dig you. Do we see that? Look how cute that is. Oh, lady just ran away with the next thing. Look, oh, how cute. It's a little lamb. Do we see this? Look how cute that is. Lady liked this one because she went for it. Here, lady, here's your little lamb. Um, the next one is a cute little bandana that has all like the conversation hearts on it. So there's this item here. What a cute little bandana. Cornelius can totally rock this bandana. Look how cute that is. So there's that item. Sorry for all the squeaking, you guys, but it's real. Okay, then the last two things are treats, which we got two bags. One of them is a huge bag of treats. So let's start with this one first. This is from the company Good Lovin', which we've also tried this brand before and they do like it. This is a small peanut butter flavored bones, uh, no rawhide in there, which is always good. And I don't see a made in the USA seal on here. So that kind of worries me, but I've gotten this brand before and it was. So it, I'm probably just not seeing it at the moment. But here is this bag, a nice big bag of it. This is like really big. This is uh, 14 ounces. So there's 10 of them in there. And then the last item, which I am not going to be feeding um, the dogs because I don't like this brand, but it is from Blue, Blue Buffalo, or is it Buffalo, Blue, Blue Buffalo, right? Yeah, Blue Buffalo. These are the Wilderness Trail Treats. And I just have a little stickle with Blue Buffalo. They're, they are uh, made in the USA, but my thing is, and I, I'm going to see if I can find it here. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't have it. Oh, it actually doesn't. Huh. Okay, we might we might do this one, you guys. We actually might. Hey, lady, can I talk or not? Look at these, okay. Um, these ones actually might not be bad. I'll have to read the ingredients a little bit more, but most blue buffalo treats and, and food has caramel dye in it. Like if you look at it, everything has caramel dye and it annoys me because a lot of other brands just don't do it. So I'll have to look at it because this one, the wilderness one might be a little different. Maybe they changed their formula. I don't know. But last one I looked, I didn't like the ingredients, but in any case, they got us some blue buffalo, which is, you know, a very popular brand. So there is that. So that was the, I think, Dece uh, February box. And what did we think, you guys? What did we think? You like the little square ball, yeah? You like that one, Cor? What did you like? Yeah, tell us. Did you like the little chicken? You were playing with the chicken earlier. Oh, ladies, we have to take all these tags off. <laughs> yeah! All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Cornelius, Lady, and I. This was a huge Pup Box unboxing because I was just backed up on them. Don't forget to check out that code below again once you guys so you can enjoy it. To be completely honest, I really love Pup Box. Um, I've never been disappointed with them. They always do really good boxes, which I enjoy. So, um, yeah, check them out. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Comment down below which box was your favorite, the first, the second, or third box. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.